from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, I'm here at First Friday's Art Walk in October to spread the message of freedom, to spread some anarchy. Uh, as if there isn't much of that going on right now with this government shutdown. So, of course, you look at to see who actually is uh, not off, right? Who's actually not uh, getting paid. It's pretty much anyone else who's not a government extortionist. If you're not one of the political rulers, right? They're continue getting their, uh, their stolen income while the rest, of course, the other employees who work for the government will get it later on. But that's pretty much who they immediately won't shut down because it's the extortion agencies like the DAA, FBI, CIA, uh, pretty much in, especially in their particular involvement and in perpetrating a lot of these wars. Uh, that's, those are the ones that are on, ATF, um, ABC, uh, the police, of course. But of course, you have to understand when people talk about like the real fear of what a real shutdown would look like would be that the government didn't give the free market enough time to compete with the monopolized services that they have control of, right? So for example, if government were to disappear away tomorrow, uh, the monopolized service of security that they have uh, when that when they take that away and hold that a hostage from you, you don't really have like a different choice. Like for me, like not that I eat at McDonald's, but for me, like if, so, what if McDonald's closed down? Right? There's a Wendy's, there's a Burger King, there's there's Cookout. <laughs> I, that would be my number one choice. But you have different services. You know, AT and T shuts down, so what? You have Sprint. You have other competing free market services to provide you the same thing. You know, I'm not gonna weep for Blockbuster to finally shut down. Right? The old business model couldn't keep up. You know, so that's what you'll have in a free market. But when government has a monopoly hostage on these services that they withdraw and hold it from you, you know, that's that's who suffers, you. As if you're not suffering enough or paying a service or forced to pay, you're not receiving that in itself. So that's pretty much what's been going on here in the past few days in, um, in October, past few days since uh, the government declared this forloin of a uh, cease of payments. So just, uh, that's what they do best, you know, just screwing everything up. So right now, I'm going to leave it at that and continue spreading, spreading the message of freedom. So thank you for watching, search, subscribe if you can, and I'll see you in the victory part. That's the hidden violence, the immorality of government. And that not only contradicts our moral values to begin with, and that this organization, this matrix, only knows how to solve problems in one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of the use of violence to solve any problems, which is the plurality of non-violent solutions that you and I already share. Interesting. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts? Yeah. Um, I mean, I agree with some of what you said. And yeah. It's interesting to hear, you know, your opinion. What? Are you guys doing this for something? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I run a YouTube channel. It's pretty much uh, a part of an organization called Liberty RBA. It's a non political organization. Pretty much it's turning to our community and letting go of government altogether. You know, let's go of the politics, let go of the voting, you know, against each other. Let's go of the division. You're a Democrat, you're a Republican, and just go to a free voluntary society outside of the monopolized one government has. Government has a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on security, on courts, on judges, on first class mail, on uh, digital spirits, on um, currency. Right? You have no freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, or even have a freedom. This is a perfect time. You have a government shutdown. I know, right? <laughs> this is it. Let's leave it as that. Right, so I'm going to try to promote that. Um, well, I have some pamphlets if you're interested. So this philosophy, this more stance that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Uh, like in science, anions and cations, and means without, archy means rulers. Like uh, monarchy, one political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. We can still have rules, we just don't need the strangers, arbitrary politicians, arbitrarily deciding the best dictating how our lives should be. Right. With a range of perspectives yeah. and moral beliefs and whatnot, I think this was initially tried and then manipulated in a way that government became as such because it wasn't working. So then they went, resulted in force with forceful people and different right. perspectives that clash where they, other people are trying to force their rebellion against and that's why it's happening. Right. That makes sense too. Oh, by the way, where government is? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I always say like people try to use anarchy. For me, it like didn't make sense. You're going to end violence with violence. You're going to end tyranny with tyranny. Um, you know, even trying to control this government that only knows that it's founded on violence. Like trying to overturn an organization founded on violence and overturn it into itself. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, is the entire foundation is founded on that stuff. It's better to just socially ostracize, ostracize them. Much in the same way like you ostracized the KKK several decades ago. They numbered in the millions. Today there's less than a thousand left. It's hard to recruit the youth when you push these values of morality forward, right? <laughs> Government will love to trick everyone against that because they want to say you're not allowed to steal, but they'll cover that up and say we'll call it just taxation, a different word. You're not allowed to murder, but we'll call it a organized war, right? Boston, that was a terrorist attack, but the drone bombing of children overseas is collateral damage, right? So different words to hide the truth of what these things are objective. 
So I'm just trying to out here, trying to help illuminate that and trying to get to a better place. Well, check out your website. Thank you. Cool. Take care. Well, all right, I'll start over. I wasn't sorry. So first question, ask three simple questions. Discuss the hidden body of the government and ask what your thoughts and comments are. Okay, no, please. Yeah, all right, first question. In your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve your personal problems? Yes. Yes, all right. Uh, define, well, violence to find its place in I a person. I would. You would? If there was no government. Right, exactly. So let me define violence, guys. Placing a person in an involuntary position without their coercion. consent. Coercion. Just say yes, coercion. without consent. <laughs> without coercion. consent. Like boxing coercion. and all this. That's coercion. Coercion, well, yeah. Well, it's called so coercion. So you look here so the people? What's that? Would you work here so the people like, without a uh, problem? You know, I have the government do that for me. Well, yeah, I know. Government does already anything they have. So what I'm trying to say, you can still have rules outside the monopoly law. You can still have communities of risk variety of differences. I, all right, yeah, I, yeah, I accept yeah, yeah. that. Uh, what about something like a public good that can be provided yeah, because the prison? Yeah, 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 you can still have What that. about the prison? You can still have an agreement you in could. the community. <laughs> yeah. you, you could, but I'm talking about the public good. Um, so, something like Lay roads. One, uh, pu uh, punishment is another one. Right, okay. Uh, what roads is an interesting one? Business is what roads to with government doesn't go to anything in the first place. They take your money, they outsource it to the lowest competitor, to the lowest connected. That's nothing to do with the best quality of good that they can provide. Yeah, but if nobody, the problem, you know, you understand what the person is what I'm trying to say. The person dilemma, that restitution would pay directly to the person who was offended. You would not no, have the public that, invite to that. That's not the, so it's just, I'm talking about a game theory. I'm talking about the prison dilemma. Where you have a little story Prisoners for what? Prisoners. The prison dilemma is a theory that developed from a guy named John Nash. They made a movie about him. Sure, sure, mind. sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, what he discovered is that when you look at some uh, situation where the optimum, uh, I guess, uh, output for you, I guess just your, your most uh, utilizable output, the one with the most utility, is the one where you do not uh, collude with another player in a game, depending on the game. Uh, that, that The result of the prison dilemma is that we need government. That's my opinion. Right. Why, whether it's moral or not, I mean, well, the thing is, no, 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 the thing is sir, you say you want government because you want this particular service. Well, I'm well, saying this service can be provided in a free market. For the most part, for right. the most part, you're right. no, right. no, I, 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 has yeah. a monopoly in this service. This is why you yes, have over a million people and rape cases. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say about right. what the government... I know there's not exactly everything the moral uh, government does. Is, uh, but it's moral. funded through even more immorality because at no point do you have freedom of economic choice. But they say I'm going to help the poor, I don't want to fund the government. What you end up with is just a giant push. I mean, Thomas Hobbes said, you talk about you enter, you leave uh, the state of government, or you leave the state, and you enter a state of nature. A state of nature. For me, I'm a little prudish and all state of nature. Is free market. This is not. Do you call this a state of nature? State of nature. No, you call this a state of nature. Not, That's no, government, not. right? So no. without it, you the go problem, back to a real state of nature. You go back to free voluntary trade. The problem with the state of nature is that you can't have certain services that I value provided. There's just why, no why? way. Without you have art, so you have this market. You, no, have no, you have this market you have demand for a service for what? Security for safety? Oh no, you can. I'm not saying you well, can't have a service you want that could be outside this protection from outside sources. Now I am presupposing. I am. Yeah. I am presupposing that we have uh, a consent, uh, some sort of contract, social contract. Yeah, real contract. I, I, I'm Con social contract is not a real contract. It's not uh, tangible. Well, it's not I, something it's I a, can it's see. A tacit, it's, it's tacit consent. Right. It's you tacit. don't want to imply consent. Otherwise, it's involuntary. It's coercive. No. But, all right. If you receive benefits from somebody and you don't pay them back for those benefits, let's have a real contract. Are you being immoral? To receive benefits, just because a slave has kept a meal for their slave master doesn't mean he condones slavery. All right, well, here's, here's one thing. A, a person comes to a government and they voluntarily go out of their own free will. Sure. They do, and they swear to the government, I sure, will absolutely. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not tacit, that's explicit consent. Yeah, sure. Is the go government then immoral? So if you want a slave master, go for it. If you want to give out your paycheck and fund the war, go for it. Do not force everyone else who does not want that preference to also force their wallet All right, onto so that say, I have to understand, what's your definition of slavery? Uh, slavery, your, it's, just, not, uh, it's, it's a lack of freedom to do whatever I want to do without infringing on that freedom of others. But uh, you can't, even in the state of nature, you can't do whatever you want to do. You can't. What are you talking you, about? I'm, by I'm doing everything I want to do. You infringe upon How so? rights of others. How so? All right, All right, let's define if what I'm rights, not what are your natural rights? If I'm not raping, I'm not murdering, I'm not uh, stealing, okay. what rights? If I'm not victimizing anyone, there's no victim. We can voluntarily trade right, Do you believe interact. in the, thought, the idea of property? That's another question. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, what are the other, are you assuming property is uh, just not a natural life? Uh, natural life. Uh, well, some people may not want to believe in it, that's perfectly fine. You can have these different communities. You don't have to believe in property rights, but don't force the people who don't want to believe in it, allow them the voluntary freedom I'm, I'm to leave gonna, and go to another community. I'm not disagreeing with you there. I'm just trying to figure out what you believe the natural rights are. There's no such thing as natural rights. I don't believe in rights. I believe in just the freedom to do whatever you want. Contracts. I believe in agreements. I believe in... But if uh, you, if you, 
Okay, okay, uh, uh, alright. Uh, but if you don't because believe in believe natural, what's, what's to stop me? If no one has rights, what's to stop me from brutalizing, robbing, uh, raping, or murdering? The same thing that kind of stops you when you go to a mall, there's security there. The same thing you go to a golf course community, there's security there. And when you go to a nightclub, you want to be a dick to someone, there's a bouncer there. You can still have security so, to keep that the be, assholes wouldn't out. that be coercion? No, because if you go to a nightclub, you can send to the rules. No assholes a lot of stuff beating up on patrons or you just take because, it out. So wait, just because you enter the nightclub, you're, uh, you're consent There are the rules to the nightclubs on the, pretty much every front door. Because they had the property. Yeah, okay. yes, that's their property. They have a rule. So how is it different than entering a nation? You don't enter a nation. You're born into one. All right. You don't well, have so the let's assume that you, you're from, you're standing from the outside, right? You're saying, listen, you're there's no outside. Every outside is another tax form. that the consent has already been given, in which case, that, then you run into a logical uh, paradox here. If you already give the consent, uh, then the government has the right to do things for you. They give All right, so some of your consent. Right. What's your consent that you've given? Because I did I not give consent for Social Security. I, hey, before hey. I was born, that was a first service. Before I was I, born, which they take from my paycheck, I did not give explicit so, consent. You forced us to the unborn. You forced us to the future generation. Do not apply and agree to Do you have freedom to, to leave? Consent. Do you have freedom to leave? Why don't the people who are aggressing get out of this country? Right? I'm not aggressing. Yeah. You're free to leave. You love government so much. Move to North Korea. How, how would you How would you get them out of the country? You, do, you talk to people. You talk to a community. Find out we serve values for nonviolence. Turn to each other. Turn to a community. Let go of the politics. Let go of the political warfare. Let go of this Democrat, Republican, Libertarian Congress. Let go of that stuff. Turn to a community and turn away from government. So, That's how you do that. So basically, close off the door. Put up a wall. Ostracize the extortionists. The ABC extortionists. The uh, FBI extortionists. The CIA extortionists. Fill up the police extortionists. Unless you want to provide a free voluntary service and the free market competition. There's a guy who's doing this already in Detroit. Business providing security in this neighborhood because it takes over an hour for the police to respond. This guy provides a free security okay, that okay. these neighborhoods pay for. Fair enough. He's not talking about people talking about privatization. for victimless privatization. price. Yeah, privatizing homestead everything. It already happens, but then you, event, like, again, I'm not mentioning the free stuff later, but that does bring up a monopoly in that. Uh, specific place. What, what did, well, are you but, against monopolies? They used to be uh, against yeah. the biggest monopoly of all, called the government. Well, it's a monopoly on power. It's a monopoly on I'm U.S. First, on first class yeah. mail, delivering pieces of paper. There's monopoly on security, on law, on courts, on judges, on roads, on currency. Uh, on they roads have a monopoly on so much. Yes. No, that's not. They don't have a monopoly. You can get currencies. I'm outside not. The I don't have. No. There's a guy who tried to create his own currency a few years ago called the Liberty Dollar. IRS came in, seized his assets, threw him in a cage. You do not have the freedom to compete against their currency. If you do try, they'll throw you. Okay. Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin's in, that's an anarcho cryptocurrency. Okay. Government wants to regulate and control it, but they can't. That's not government though. That's a free market solution. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, okay. that, that's what I'm saying. Free markets all right, solve take, all this take stuff. Out currency, you know, I'll give you currency. But okay. So let's say we, we reach this some agreement where everybody says, all right, screw the government, it's out. Sure, sure. Uh, we're gonna have little communities and require yeah, 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 free yeah. market. Fair enough. I'm not saying that's okay. impossible with a small population size. Not impossible. What's to stop an outside nation from saying, oh, all these different communities are right, right for the take? All right, well, great. All right, you look at a historical example. The only reason Hitler wanted to take over France was because of the tax system. We have no taxes, there's nothing to take over. The only reason why countries always take over other countries is to go to take over the existing tax system. That's why they call Afghanistan the empire, the graveyard empires. There's nothing to take over. But you can remove you that. Can, no, you can place your own. And when the Mongols invaded the Russians, uh, and what was it? Not Afghanistan. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, talk, I'm talking about uh, back in 1200. They invaded Russia. They imposed a strict tax system that was not known to the Russians beforehand. They, instead of destroying them, they asked for tribute. I'm not talking about Russia. Tribute. I'm talking about Afghanistan, separate from Russia. There's no, you, I'm thinking of a counter example to what you brought up, where they went. Uh, I'm not talking invade, about Russia. I said in place taxes. Yeah, yeah. Things should take over the tax system. A tribute system. Things where you have to well, continue. Okay, so, alright. Well, there we go. A thought experiment here. So somebody comes in, alright? What are uh, they going to take over? Nation. Uh, they take over these communities. They say, if you don't give us tribute, we will kill you. Well, we have now some defense. We have a lot of ex-military. How do you provide for that defense? That's right. Hey, you, obviously you need defense. That's a need you need. Hire us oh, will provide the best defense how for you. you get a national defense in place, though? If you have each individual community, how right. are they going to agree on By that time, you realize that nations tribute. are nothing but imaginary lines on a piece of paper, and this idea would permeate outside of these lines. That's irrelevant. That's I'm not trying to change the country. I'm not trying to change the nature. Change the means starts here in I'm just going to disagree with you. Not, I, you okay, all right. I'm not here trying to convince everyone. Well, well, give me some pamphlets before you walk away. No, I'm good. Thanks, man. Well, 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 if you're open to reason or ration, if you're not, I'm, walk away I'm, from I'm, that. I'm, I'm just going to go read uh, You read, read what? All, all right. Hey, it's good to see you. 
So that's the head advice behind government. This organization only knows how to solve problems in one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? They just stopped. They just stopped? <laughs> Hopefully they're they not of, talking yeah. anymore. <laughs> well, well, what are your thoughts on all that? Um, <laughs> So this, this, this moral stance that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems, that's called anarchy. It almost sounds like a dictatorship. The government now? It is. Yeah. Yes. It's scary. It is. It is. They have a monopoly on these services that we want. We still want security, we still want rules, but they have a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on the criminal justice system, they have a monopoly on courts, on security, on currency, on rails, on first class mail, pieces of paper. You don't have the freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, or even have the freedom to compete to provide a better service. It's not going to be abusive. But if you do, it's called treason. Right, that's what they call it, right? What? Yeah, <laughs> they do, they call it treason. Unpatriotic. How dare you try to provide a better service than us? How dare you try to compete against our monopolized service of security? How dare you try to provide a security that's not going to be harmful and abusive? So what's the solution? So the solution, let's turn to our community. Let's turn away from government. We can still have law, a polycentric legal system. We can still have security, but in a way that you and the consumer are in charge. Like Netflix, try to raise your prices overnight last year. People are like, oh, forget that. Cancel and subscribe. Go to who? Any business then that tries to uh, become harmful or abusive like the government has done, you can. they could go bankrupt the next day. You know, that power comes to back to you as a consumer. So that's the solution. Let's turn to each other. Let's turn to voluntary trade. Turn away from government. Turn away from the monopolized service. So almost like having uh, government like the economy. I guess you wouldn't have like government. Like guiding, yeah. like just like, yeah. Yeah. like an Adam Smith yeah, yeah, government. I guess. Yeah, like a, a, free a free market. A free market. Government. Yeah, without government, it's a real free market. That's interesting, but that's almost like not the definition of that's not what I they think call of it, government. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so they'll say, you're not allowed to steal, but we'll call it taxes. You're not allowed to murder, we'll call it organized war, right? They have these different names to describe and hide from what these things truly really are. Yeah? All right. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I have some pamphlets if you like. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Of course, of course. Take care. Have a happy first Friday. That's the hidden bias behind this matrix, behind the government. It's this organization only knows how to solve problems in one way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problem versus the plurality of non-violent solutions in the United States. I agree with you, but yeah. I don't think you take it into account uh, general citizens versus property and Who's going to protect it? Great question. So, like, who's going to protect the corporation? Without a government, there's no such thing as corporation. All a corporation is, is a piece of paper backed and enforced by government to allow the CEO executives to escape from personal liability from their actions. Right? They pass off their limited liability cap to the employees by lowering their salaries to the consumer by raising consumer prices. So without a government, there's no such thing as corporation. It goes back to the way it used to be when people were held liable for their actions. And so, but without the monopoly on law, on these services the government has, you, mean you can have a positive legal system. But they have a monopoly on law, on security, on roads, on uh, judges, on courts. You don't have the, even on currency. You don't have the freedom to cancel and subscribe. You don't have the freedom then to compete, to provide a better service or security. It's not going to be abusive and harmful to the consumer. Right? You'll have free market competition. I saw the monopolized one. Let's in a free market. You'll have all these your needs. I, I would want security. Too, right? I still want roads. I still want, but at least I want to be in control as a consumer to to see who will provide me the best product or service. Coming into Hattic Roads and things like EPS uh, and uh, safety of drugs. Right, okay, alright. Um, so the alternative would be this more tradition that you and I already share against recent violence to solve community problems. That's called anarchy. Anarchy, by definition, like in science, anarchy is a canon. And means without, archy means rulers, like monarchy. One political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. We can still have rules in those communities of preferences. You'll have like an apartment complex building with a certain rule that says H20, uh, 420 friendly, one across the street that's not. You can still have rules on this particular private property. Right? So I'm not saying do away with this, but you'll have a polycentric legal system where the government doesn't have a monopoly on law because that's all you do when you vote. When you vote for a politician, they vote the preference to everyone, the majority preference to change their preference region. So really you're advocating for smaller, let's say, neighborhood. <coughs> yeah, a free and voluntary society. Real contracts, things that you actually consent to, not a social contract that you know you don't even ever sign or not even have power of attorney, you know, generations before you to say, I want a social security. Um, a real contract, uh, something tangible. Yeah. And, I mean, these things already exist, like golf course communities. <laughs>
you're pretty eloquent. Why don't you something? Right. Um. Well, the thing is, it gets to the point where it takes so long for Chase to go goes through politics to govern. Like, even if tomorrow they legalize cannabis, so what? You know, it took 75 years. It's not a measure of success to finally gain one scrap of our freedom back in return, but to have lost so many others in the same amount of time. I'd rather invest all that energy and time and resources and my, my commitment towards my community instead to help let go of the politics and this you know, political war, war that we have here. You're a Democrat and a Republican. It kind of goes back against instead of uniting us as just individuals as a community. Uh, so that's where I'd rather give my attention to, to my community and turning away from government altogether. All right? All right, cool. My name is Cal. Hey, pleasure to meet you. That's the hidden violence behind government, but this organization, this matrix, only knows how to solve problems in one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems, versus a plurality of non-violence solutions you and I, three, four here, already share. Three or four. So what do you think of that? Yeah, I think you're right. It's almost like America's a big deal. Right? It's like, if you guys don't agree, we're going to make you. Right. We're going to bomb uh, yeah. democracy into yeah, your country. Exactly, yeah, like, it's almost like they're trying to reach democracy and Christianity throughout the world. Right. If that was the case, like, if it was supposed to be that way, then it would. It's not. Right. Yeah, a good idea is not require force. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Don't require violence. Don't require that threat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah all right. Great. Uh, so this moral position that you and I share against using violence to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Like in science, anions and cations, an means without, archy means rulers. So like monarchy, one political ruler, anarchy means without two political rulers. We can still have rules. What government has objectively then is a, is a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on courts, on security, on judges, on currency, on first class mail. You don't have the freedom to unsubscribe, cancer a payment, or even have the freedom to compete in a free market and provide a better service that's not going to be abusive and harmful to you, to the consumer. Right? So that's where I want to go to. We need to go to towards our community, turn away from government and their monopoly service. We can still have for us, we can still have security, we can still have the stuff. But in the basis that you're in charge to select who's providing that service best. Right? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that one part of an organization called Liberty RBA. It's a non political organization. And again, just let's, let's unite as our community. Let go of the politics that divides us. We are Democrat, you're Republican, Libertarian. That just distracts us from focusing, using our real voice to talk to each other. You guys have like a. Yeah, yeah, man. There you go, there you go. Appreciate what you guys are about. Man. This is great. Appreciate it, appreciate it. My name is Cal. Cal McHale. Mikhail, pleasure yes, to meet you, Mikhail. Nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you. We actually have a big gathering tomorrow. We're getting together. Actually, now I fall out. I see Urban on the bottom. It's a private club. Yeah, it's a nightclub. Yeah. It's on the event space on the website. Yeah. Tomorrow and then afterwards, there's a Halloween team party. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so we do monthly gatherings and community discussion, uh, potlucks and things of that nature. And again, creating a community and uh, sending away from that that already not just uh, contradicts our own models, but then only continues to grow. You know, uh, millions of people now in, 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 into cages, a lot of them for victimless crimes. You know, they'll call it a terrorist attack in Boston, but collateral damage to grow block children overseas. Right? So. And that's, and that's the direction. Look, we can still have this stuff in the, in the voluntary aspect, right? I don't use violence to solve problems in my life. I'm going to advocate for the only the the organization that only knows how to use violence. Right? And some of you know, if somebody doesn't agree with you, they say, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna make you right. <laughs> Which shouldn't be the case. That's right. That's like I should. Thank you. Of course, thanks for coming by. My dad.